Let's talk about zero polynomials and let's learn why we say that the degree of a zero polynomial is undefined. But before that, let's have a quick revision of the constant polynomials. If, we, if I write a number 2 and a number, let's say 110, okay, these two are natural numbers, right? But if I say that it's actually a constant polynomial, it's actually a constant polynomial. Why constant? Because it's just a number 2, right? It's just a number. That's why it's a constant polynomial whose degree, whose degree is 0. Why? Because I can write this 2 as 2 multiplied by x raised to power of 0 or I can write it as 2 multiplied by y raised to the power of 0 or I can write it as 2 multiplied by t raised to the power of 0. The thing is that you can take any variable, this number is same and any variable raised to the power of 0 is always 1. So it's actually 2 multiplied by 1, right? Any variable raised to the power of 0 or any number raised to the power of 0 is always 1, okay? In the same way, 110, this is also a constant polynomial. It's also a constant polynomial whose degree, whose degree is whose degree is 0. Why? 110 multiplied by x raised to the power of 0. x raised to the power of 0. So x raised to the power of 0, this 0 tells us that this the degree is actually 0. In the same case, here. Similarly here. Okay. What if your number is now 0? If your number is 0, what in that case? Well, this is also a this is a spatial kind of constant polynomial. This is the spatial kind of constant polynomial. Called zero polynomial. Zero polynomial. Why constant? Because it's always zero. It's not going to change. It always it will always be zero. But the next point is unlike this constant polynomials that we saw here, two constant polynomials, unlike these two constant polynomials, its degree is not defined. Its degree is not defined. Why? Because we can write this as 0 multiplied by x raised to the power of 0. We can write it as 0 multiplied by x raised to the power of 1. Why? 0 multiplied by 1 is 0. Now 0 multiplied by x raised to the power of 1 is 0. Right? 0 multiplied with any number will give you 0 only. Then you can write this as 0 multiplied by x raised to the power of 30. Again, you will get 0. We can write 0 as 0 multiplied by x raised to the power of 1000. You will get again 0. You can write this as 0 multiplied by x raised to the power of 10 lakh. You will again get 0. So in this case, your degree is 0. In this case, your degree is 1. In this case, your degree is 30. In this case, your degree is 1000. In this case, your degree is 10 lakh. It's not defined. Like here, it has to be 0 only. The degree is 0 only. Then only you will get 2 number. Then only you will get 110 number. But in this case, you can take as many as numbers you want. You will get back the same number 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So degree is undefined. That's why we say that the degree of a 0 polynomial is undefined. Right? So in general, when we talk about a polynomial in one variable of nth degree of nth degree then we write this as a n now this we discussed in our earlier video tutorial right a n x raised to the power of n a n minus 1 x raised to the power of n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x raised to the power of n minus 2 plus 
so on then a1x plus a0 right now a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 a and then a n minus 3 and so on and a1 and a0 these are our constants we know that these are constants so if a n is equal to a n minus 1 is equal to a n minus 2 is equal to a n minus 3 is equal to this goes up to a1 is equal to a0 and if these are all 0 if these all constants are 0 then it's actually what 0 multiplied by something 0 multiplied by something 0 multiplied by something this finally gives you a 0 polynomial 0 polynomial right so the thing is the zero polynomial is a special kind of constant polynomial whose degree is undefined. 